Okay guys, this is part three. What I want to show you is what I have here is a dual channel Scorpion uh, motor controller. A nice simple little motor controller, nothing really fancy. You saw the one I have in the uh, uh, for my motor drives. That's a Vantec motor controller. That's a high current uh, motor controller that for those types of motors is is what you're going to need. But for the uh, the torso drive, which uh, I showed just using a simple motor, a high torque motor, all it requires this uh, motor controller is just going to require plus and minus 12 volts. And these two signals you see here, they run to the connector here. This connector gets plugged into the top of the the, uh, the donut, which passes basically the plus and minus uh, to the motor that I have in the donut. The control signal, since it's a dual channel, I take one channel at this point in time and run it to my receiver for my radio. You decide what channel you want to use for your radio, and this is what controls this motor controller board, which in turn will then do the torso drive, the torso movement. I have an additional channel available to me. I will probably use that channel to control maybe the lifter boot or some other functionality that may require a motor controller. So again, it's a simple little motor controller. That's all I use for the, the torso drive. And it, again, it, it's, it's made by a company called Scorpion. If you have any other questions uh, concerning the command center, anything I can help you with, or if you any need any more uh, uh, discussion or any more views, just please uh, drop me a line or let me know in the comment section. If these have been helpful, great. I hope they have. Uh, please let me know. For you R2 builders out there, a lot of the circuitry is very similar to what I have in my R2-D2. The only thing I don't have in there is the neon control circuit or Tom's light controller circuit, but essentially everything else you see with the, the sound controller and the voltage regulator board is what I have in my R2-D2. Thank you for watching. Hope it's, uh, hope it's helpful.